Stage Wanderer here. Hey, here's an update on the homestead project. So I officially have my own portage on. <laughs> so they brought that out here for me this morning. And um, you know, I've kind of been handling this on a needs-based uh, method. So, you know, I needed to have the portage on for now, temporary. And I needed these solar panels because uh, it's gonna be two weeks before they get out here to to do a site survey and talk to me about dropping a power line to this place so I'm on a waiting list for a bit but here is my 200 watt solar array they're portable so I move them around I need to move them they're not quite lined up with the Sun right now as you can tell but um, they're enough to charge my batteries so I do have a battery bank as well so this is that old like Dearborn style heater that I found in the camper. I'm gonna test it out, that's a project maybe for today or tomorrow, but I got it out here with some fresh gas ready to uh, lay into it and make sure it works and test it and make sure it don't leak. And then a little tour of the inside of the house that you haven't seen. I got some updates, upgrades. So we won't look over here because this is building materials and <laughs> stuff I got going on over there. But hey, I did, I did buy myself a chair and a bed and um, I won't apologize for having a chair and a bed. In fact, it's part, of the, it's part of the story of this breakup has to do with why I haven't had a chair or a bed of my own in years. So when I got this chair and I sat down in it for the first time, I, I cried. I, but I cried everything, right? I'm the crier. But I did cry So I, because <laughs> I have a chair and it feels so good. And, hey, my back is so much better. I'm, I'm getting my youth back, y'all. I'm, uh, I'm fit as a fiddle. And uh, anyway, so there is the sleeping and living room area. Now, as you can tell, I got some insulation laid in. Now, I think it's messing with my sinuses a little bit, so I need to get the job done and the sheetrock down. But I'm just going, getting her done as I go. It's kind of hard to live in a place and do the work at the same time. But anyway, uh, today is going, if, the, if I don't get stormed out of here, because there's a big storm coming, Today is going to be insulation day where I'll finish this wall here out. But this is done. I've got overhead insulation on about a third. I'm about a third of the way done with the insulation. It's all behind the bed. It's all insulated. It's all laid in behind this plastic too. So it's all sealed in. But I still think it may be the fiberglass. It could be allergies. It's got me a little bit sniffly. It's been really cold the last few nights until last night. Last night was a warm night. But there's the closet you've already seen. This it, I partitioned off with this tarp. Uh, that I scavenged from my camp to get myself a little private room back there for the bathroom area. But now that I have a uh, portage on, some of that's going to change in there and make a little more space. It's all getting improved a little bit at a time. Here's my kitchen improvement. I'm, I got two ice chests now because I kind of needed one for meat just to make sure that I didn't get cross contamination. And uh, but I really need to get that maybe that gas refrigerator from the camper if it works. I'll have to test that out. Lots of work, lots of work to do. But anyway. So there's my uh, my kitchen upgrade as well. You might have noticed I got a kitchen upgrade. This is actually a portable fish filleting station. And uh, it's got two sinks. I really only use the one sink. But I'm set up down here so that I have these buckets to put my uh, gray water in and carry out. So that's an improvement over the steel pot situation I had before. Because at least I can get dishes down in this better than the steel pot. And... Uh, my makeshift spice rack which will have to go when insulation goes in this wall but I'll figure out something else for that but that's just a, a uh, make happen now situation um, I haven't been able to make much music um, I just been so busy but I need to make some music I want to make music this is the time in my life I should be making music uh, here's the rest of the solar array I guess I should have started here so the solar panels they come in to these two charge controllers so it goes solar panel into these two little black boxes. This is each 100 watts. This one is set on 14.4. It's finishing off one of the batteries and giving it its uh, full top off. There's a process. You got to get up to a certain level before you can put it onto full charge mode. And over here, this one's working on on uh, charging up one of my batteries. And so I got one on its way to being charged, one finishing charging, and this is the one I'm currently using with my 750 watt inverter which turns 12 volt into 110 then through the use of this this orange uh, 
uh, extension cord. It's just plugged out there, just like a regular cord would be. But instead of having the female end, I wired the female end into the breaker box. So it's kind of exposed here, but that's 110. And uh, anyhow, this breaker uh, runs the this yellow wire that goes through the whole house, and it feeds the overhead light up there and all of the wall plugs and everything there so that's the system as it's working right now and um, stay tuned because I have a really big update that's coming in the next few days um, I'm gonna be making some some big moves and strides forward uh, thanks to some miracles that are occurring in my life so anyway I'll give you guys more of an update on that later but this is my tiny cabin in the woods and uh, kinda loving the solitude I can just sit here and look out the window Watch cars go by on the road when they do come by. And uh, it's just really, really peaceful. And it's a good time of year to be off-grid, but I'm hoping that electricity comes soon, because soon I'll need an air conditioner, and it's hard to do air conditioning on solar. All right, till next time.